comet, asteroid, or something else. A Harvard astrophysicist believes there's a strong likelihood this is a craft of alien origin. Something from the space between stars tried to send a message and then it disappeared forever. The object known as 3I Atlas was on a trajectory that brought it screaming through our solar system. It was an outsider, a true alien object. What many overlooked was its bizarre behavior. It suddenly flared up, getting 10 times brighter in a flash of impossible energy. Michio Kaku and others watched, dumbfounded. But just as the world's most powerful eyes focused on it, it executed the perfect vanishing act. This wasn't an accident. It was a cosmic mystery that has everyone asking, what did we just witness? A light in the void. Many people are crazy about the idea of interstellar objects, and for good reason. They are time capsules from other star systems, carrying secrets of alien suns and long-lost planets. Initially, 3I Atlas behaved as expected. It was a faint, dim object, little more than a dirty snowball a few miles across. Scientists calculated its path, predicting it would swing around our sun and then be flung back out into the void, never to return. They expected it to gradually brighten as the sun's heat began to vaporize its icy surface, creating a classic cometary tale. But what happened in March of 2020 defied every prediction. To put it mildly, it put on a show that left the entire scientific community speechless. Over just a few days, 3I Atlas began to shine with an unnatural intensity. It didn't just get a little brighter, it ramped up its luminosity by a factor of 10, then 20, then by some estimates, a hundredfold. An object that should have been barely visible with a powerful backyard telescope was suddenly on the verge of being seen with the naked eye. This was a massive red flag. The thing nobody tells you is that a comet's brightness is directly related to how much ice is turning to gas. For 3i Atlas to get this bright, this fast, it would need to be shedding an impossible amount of material or something else had to be happening. It was like watching a single candle suddenly flare up with the intensity of a searchlight. What many overlooked was that the object's core didn't seem to be changing, only its glow. World-renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku noted that such anomalies are where new physics is born. When an object breaks the rules so spectacularly, it either means our rules are wrong or the object isn't what it appears to be. Was this a massive, unforeseen outgassing event? Or was it something else entirely? The world's observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope, scrambled to get a closer look. They needed to understand the source of this incredible energy. The data poured in, but it only deepened the mystery. The object was glowing, but not in the way a normal comet would, and just as the world was captivated by this cosmic beacon, the unthinkable happened. In late April, 3I Atlas performed its final impossible trick. It vanished. The object didn't just fade away. One week, it was a brilliant spectacle. The next, it was gone. Follow-up observations from Hubble confirmed it. Where there was once a bright, condensed core, there was now only a faint, dispersed cloud of dust and a few tiny fragments. It had completely disintegrated, disappearing from all tracking systems as if it had never been there at all. A visitor from another star system had screamed into our cosmic home, lit up like a sign and then self-destructed before it could be properly studied. The vanishing act wasn't the strangest part. The real mystery was in the breadcrumbs it left behind. Fragments of a mystery. When an object in space disappears, astronomers become detectives at a cosmic crime scene. The immediate and most obvious explanation for the vanishing of 3I Atlas was simple fragmentation. The theory goes that as the icy comet got closer to the sun, the intense heat and radiation caused its frozen core to crack and break apart into a cloud of debris. This is a common fate for comets. You see, this rapid disintegration would explain the sudden flare-up in brightness. As the comet broke apart, fresh ice was exposed to the sun, causing a massive, short-lived burst of gas and dust. It's like throwing a bucket of water on a bonfire. You get a huge cloud of steam before the fire settles down. This explanation seemed to tick all the boxes. But not all things are what they seem. As scientists, including those who share Michio Kaku's inquisitive nature, looked closer at the data, the simple fragmentation theory started to fall apart. The problem was the energy. The brightening happened before the main fragmentation event, not during it. 
It was too clean, too precise. Moreover, the way it vanished was strange. It didn't explode in a chaotic burst. Instead, it seemed to just dissolve. What many overlooked is that the object's light curve, the graph of its brightness over time, didn't match any known model of cometary breakup. It was a unique, one-of-a-kind event. This is where the more speculative and far more interesting theories come into play. Michio Kaku is often spoken about Oumuamua, our first interstellar visitor, and the controversial idea that its strange shape and acceleration could have been signs of alien technology, specifically a solar sail. A solar sail is a massive, ultra-thin sheet of material designed to be pushed by the light from a star. Could 3i Atlas have been something similar? A probe with a thin film structure that, when angled just right, reflected a massive amount of sunlight back at us, causing the flare-up? The thing nobody tells you is that such a structure would also be incredibly fragile. As it got closer to the sun, the intense solar pressure could have caused it to buckle and break apart, explaining its sudden disappearance. Another, even wilder possibility is that the brightening was a deliberate act. An advanced civilization might use interstellar probes not just for observation, but for communication. The sudden tenfold increase in brightness could have been a signal, a pulse of energy designed to get our attention. Imagine an alien probe programmed with a simple directive. Upon entering a star system with signs of potential life, execute a high energy flare to announce its presence. After sending its ping, it might then engage a stealth mode or break apart to hide its technological nature, leaving us with an unsolvable puzzle. This sounds like science fiction, but the data from 3i Atlas is so strange that, to put it mildly, such possibilities cannot be completely dismissed. The object simply did not behave like a natural phenomenon. If it wasn't a rock that just broke apart, then what was it? The answer might lie not in space, but in physics itself. Interstellar Deception When conventional explanations fail, it's time to turn to the minds that operate on the very edge of science. Michio Kaku, a co-founder of String Field Theory, has built his career on exploring the kinds of physics that sound like magic but are grounded in complex mathematics. For a puzzle like 3i Atlas, Kaku's world of higher dimensions and quantum realities offers some truly mind-bending possibilities. The thing nobody tells you is that our three-dimensional universe might just be one slice in a much larger multi-dimensional reality, what physicists call the bulk or hyperspace. In string theory, our universe is like the surface of a pond. We can only perceive things that exist on that surface. But what if something could dive below the surface, disappearing from our view entirely? Kaku's theories allow for the possibility of objects or energy moving between these dimensions, or brains. Could 3i Atlas have been a probe not just from another star, but from another brain? Its sudden flare-up could have been the energy signature of it briefly interacting more fully with our dimension, and its disappearance could have been it receding back into the bulk. It wouldn't have broken apart, it would have simply phased out of our observable reality. This sounds fantastical, but it's a concept rooted in the search for a theory of everything. What many overlooked is that such an event would leave behind exactly the kind of evidence we saw, a burst of energy followed by a disappearance, with a few residual fragments left behind in our dimension like ripples on the water. Another possibility, slightly less exotic but equally strange, involves advanced technology. An alien probe might not need to jump dimensions to vanish. It could use a form of active camouflage or a stealth field. The brightening could have been a byproduct of this system failing or being intentionally overloaded. To put it mildly, it's like a cloaking device short-circuiting, revealing the ship for a moment before it goes dark again. Many people are crazy about these ideas, but they come from a place of scientific necessity. The data from 3i Atlas is a square peg, and our current understanding of physics is a round hole. It doesn't fit. The energy output, the light curve, the mode of disappearance, none of it aligns with the behavior of a natural comet. Kaku and other theoretical physicists argue that we must be open to the possibility that we have witnessed something that operates on principles we have yet to discover. The event could be a clue, a cosmic signpost pointing toward a new, deeper understanding of the universe. It's a chance to learn, but only if we're willing to ask the truly bizarre questions. 
But one final chilling possibility remained, one that no scientist wanted to admit out loud. They were watching. Let's consider the most unsettling theory of all. What if the appearance, the flare, and the disappearance of 3 I Atlas were all part of a plan? What if it was a deliberate, calculated series of events executed by an intelligent entity? This idea moves beyond physics and into the realm of galactic strategy. The zoo hypothesis is a famous proposed solution to the Fermi paradox, the question of why we haven't found aliens. It suggests that advanced civilizations are out there, but they deliberately hide from us, observing us as if we are animals in a cosmic zoo. If that's true, any probe they send would need to be incredibly stealthy. You see, a probe entering our solar system would need to look and act like a natural object to avoid causing a panic or disrupting our development. It could masquerade as a comet, traveling a predictable path. But what if it made a mistake? The sudden, tenfold brightening could have been an error, an unintentional system failure or an energy surge that briefly blew its cover. Realizing it had been spotted, the probe's primary protocol would be to eliminate the evidence. Its self-destruction wouldn't be a chaotic fragmentation, it would be a controlled, efficient process designed to look just enough like a natural event to create confusion and plausible deniability. It vanished so completely because it was designed to. The thing nobody tells you is that this theory neatly explains all the weird data. It accounts for the unnatural brightening, the precise and orderly disappearance, and the lack of any large, traceable fragments. It suggests we caught a fleeting glimpse of something we were never meant to see. Michio Kaku has often discussed the different levels of civilization, from Type 1 to Type 3. A civilization capable of sending interstellar probes would be far beyond us, and their technology would be indistinguishable from magic. A probe that could perfectly mimic a comet and then vaporize itself on command would be, to put it mildly, well within the capabilities of such a civilization. This brings us to a profound and humbling conclusion. The story of 3i Atlas might not be about a rock from another star, it might be about us. It could be the first tangible sign that we are being quietly observed, monitored, or perhaps even studied by intelligences so far beyond our understanding that their smallest mistakes appear to us as cosmic miracles. To them, this might have been nothing more than a routine survey, a passing glance, or an accidental artifact left behind. To us, it is a revelation wrapped in data and speculation. In this view, the universe is not a vast, empty wilderness, but a crowded theater filled with unseen actors and silent watchers. We, humanity, are not yet part of the performance. We are still seated in the dark, whispering to one another, staring up at the stage lights, trying to make sense of the brief flicker we just witnessed. Maybe what we saw wasn't random at all. Maybe it was a hint, an invitation to look closer, to evolve, to join a broader cosmic conversation we didn't even know was happening. 3i Atlas, then, becomes more than an interstellar visitor. It becomes a mirror reflecting our deepest curiosity and our greatest fear that we are not alone and that someone or something out there already knows we exist. Whether it was a probe, a vessel, or something we have no words for, its arrival forces us to ask the most unsettling question of all. If we are being watched, what happens when the watchers decide to make contact? The puzzle of 3i Atlas remains unsolved. Was its dramatic flare and vanishing act a natural cosmic wonder, or was it a deliberate message from an intelligence beyond our own? Let us know your craziest theory in the comments, and for more mysteries from the cosmos, make sure to like and subscribe.